Grant us, O Lord, not to mind earthly things, but to love things heavenly. And even now, while we are placed among things that are passing away, to cleave to those that shall abide. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading this morning is from Jeremiah. The Lord has given me knowledge of it, and I know it. Then thou showedst me the doings. But I was like a lamb on the ox that is brought to the slaughter, and I knew or not that they had devised devices against me, saying, Let us destroy this tree with the fruit thereof. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, that his name may be no more remembered. But, O Lord of hosts, judge us righteously. Try us the rings in the heart. Let me see thy vengeance on them. For unto thee have I revealed my cause. Psalm of this morning, Psalm 54. Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by, my, by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. The strangers have risen up against me, and oppressors seek after my soul. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. He shall reward evil upon mine enemies. Cut them off in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For he hath delivered me out of all trouble, and mine eye has seen his desire upon mine enemies. Our next reading this morning is from James. From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence even of your own lusts of war in your members? You lust and have not. You kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. You fight in war. You have not because you ask not. You ask and receive not because you ask amiss. That you may consume it upon your lusts. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever will be a friend of the world, therefore, is the enemy of God. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, The spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves as afore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be afflicted, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother, and judges to his brother, speaketh evil of the law, and judges to the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not endure of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who art thou that judgest another? Go to now, ye that say, Today or tomorrow we'll go into such and city, and continue there a year, and buy and sell, and get gain. Was you know not what shall be on the morrow? What is your life? It is even a vapor and appeareth for a little time, and then vanisheth away. For that ye ought to say, If the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. But now you rejoice in your voice of boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, and doth it not, to him it is sin. Our final reading this morning is from Mark. And they departed thence and passed through Galilee, and he would not that any man should know it. For he taught his disciples and said unto them, 
the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of men, and they shall kill him. And after that he is killed, he shall rise the third day. But they understood not that saying, and were afraid to ask him. And he came to Capernaum, and being in the house, he asked them, What was it that you disputed among yourselves by the way? But they held their peace, but by the way they disputed among themselves who should be the greatest. And he sat down and called the twelve, and saith unto them, If any man desire to be first, the same shall be last of all and serve in the wall. And he took a child and set him in the midst of them. And when he had taken him in, in his arms, he said unto them, Whosoever shall receive one of such children in my name receiveth me. And whosoever shall receive me receiveth not me, but him that sent me. This concludes their readings for this morning. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. Jesus freak out.